Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Anna and welcome to my little space on the internet Today I decided I wanted to film what I eat in a day It is one of the hottest days of the year today in Germany It's going to be about 40 degrees Celsius which is more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit It's gonna be hot It's gonna be hot but because it's gonna be so super hot, we're gonna make a lot of filling, healthy, but also lightweight summer style recipes. As always, this is just for food inspiration and I'm not in a position to give you any dietary advice. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. I already made myself a matcha latte because I always start my day with an iced matcha latte. Let's go. So there we have it for breakfast. I just made some toasted sourdough bread with smoked salmon and radish. When it's super hot, you should definitely not forget to drink enough water. I always preach about drinking enough water, but especially now that it's summer and it's so freaking hot, water is just essential. A healthy diet does not only consist of healthy food, it also consists of drinking enough water. I really love Air Up for this because this is just normal plain water, but it has a little bit of flavor because of these little pods. I've been testing them out for a few weeks now. And and it's kind of funny because you can smell it. This one's peach, but it's not just an illusion when you drink it. It's kind of like an olfactory, scientifically based thing that you smell it, but you also actually taste it when drinking. In a very, very subtle and natural way, nothing artificial, which I don't really like. Arab has really been helping me drinking enough water, especially when I'm not feeling like drinking plain water. We all have those days. Trust me, I don't have them that often, but when I do, Arab is my best friend. They have so many different flavors, I really recommend you guys to check them out. Thank you, Arab, for working with me on this video. I'm going to put everything into the info box down below, so if you want to shop them, check them out. And don't forget to check out their Instagram because they're posting so many news and updates every single day. I really like peach. Deko essen wir nicht. Was sah irgendwie so traurig aus, oder? I really have to leave because I have an important appointment in 10 minutes at school. And of course, I'm bringing my water with me to school because stay hydrated. I'm back home from school and it's time for lunch. Let's go. I just real quickly made a tomato salad with burrata and some toasted bread and some strawberries and of course more water but this time cola flavor. So I just arrived in front of my gym and I'm going to do a push session. So we're gonna train upper body. Let's go. Seem like every cat ain't gotta maintain the cap. 
You can make change, don't change for that Tell the whole truth, get paid for that Bet you never fall off, you was made for that You gotta be who you really be, shine from the inside Cause niggas ain't really who they say on the outside You gotta be who you really be, shine from the inside One thing that I've learned from making tabbouleh, which is another parsley salad, you have to cut it by hand. And it's kind of frowned upon to use a machine or another device, but I cannot be bothered today. This is not getting cut. Okay, I'm going to use the machine. guys we just finished making dinner for dinner we're having loaded potatoes also known as kumpir which is a turkish dish it's pretty easy we just use these pre-cooked baked potatoes that you can buy at your grocery store and then you put them into the oven and bake them fully through and then you add some cheese at the very end you can top them with whatever you like we really like kisir and some tuna salad for some protein the good thing is kisir is really good to prep so you can probably eat that up until the weekend because I completely forgot to end the vlog yesterday. I didn't eat anything else after dinner, but we did bake a cake. It looks like this. We actually baked two cakes last night. For our school, we have our patient classes and we do not treat patients alone. We have so-called assistant doctors which have to supervise us. And because the term is coming to an end and that was like our last day of class, we wanted to do a little thank you thingy and we baked a cake. We baked two of them because we also have a meetup today with other students and we're gonna bring the second batch with us for all the students today. So that's all that I ate yesterday. Every day looks different as I already said. This is not a one size fits all. This is not dietary advice. This is just what I'm eating and maybe some meal inspo, especially for the hotter days because sometimes it's hard to eat when it's really, really hot. I'm going to write down the cake recipe in the info box down below because my mom baked a rhubarb cake not too long ago and she used the exact same recipe for that one. And you guys really wanted to know the recipe. So now I have it and I'm going to give it to you. Without any further ado, I hope you guys liked today's vlog. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Up until then, stay safe and bye.